What up, y'all? <clears throat> so, several years ago, I filmed this video, um, and clearly it was something right up my alley. Um, the Nuclear Scare Scam by Galen Windsor. In this video, you have a man uh, who claims to be one of the four front, like, most knowledgeable, I guess he's like an engineer and he designed several nuclear power plants in the U.S. And um, he claims in the video here that um, nuclear radiation is bullshit. And that it was simply a fail-safe, uh, basically a security, dev it's basically like a security feature that the government put on uh, nuclear materials in order to scare people away from stealing them. Basically, if you know that piece of metal is worth a lot of money over there, but if you touch it, you die, you're probably not going to try and steal it. And... Um, I posted this several times over the years and had a lot of discussion over it. And um, then a couple years went by, and then I watched it again. And I'm pleased to have as our guest, Mr. Galen Windsor from Richland, Washington. As some, most of you know, I'm quite the expert on deep fake footage. And after looking at it again and watching this again, it just from a tape felt like some months ago, and I found his story to be a deep fake video trying to look old. Um, it's very blurry. It's very odd video. After watching it again with an a little bit more, less excited about finding a new conspiracy, open mind. Absolutely um, His story is watching the footage. Galen has been in 77 different. It's clean. A little too clean. And um, you know, it just has all those characteristics. Of a deep fake. We've been considering today how best to approach this subject so that you would feel comfortable with where I am. While it looks looks very good and would convince, you know, and would fool 999,000 out of a million people, the more I watch it. So like last year I watched it again and I'm like, I don't know about this actually. So I did a little bit of research on Galen Windsor and there's basically nothing out there. And it was several years ago that I first saw this. And um, in that time, you know, when I first saw it, it basically had no, there was no other information about Galen Windsor on the internet. There were no other videos on YouTube about Galen Windsor. And in the time over the years, I've watched Galen Windsor become someone relevant on YouTube and the internet because of this video. But there's literally no other video, no other information on the internet about a Galen Windsor building any nuclear uh, power plants. There's just nothing out there. So it's been bugging me for a while, you know, where... Where the uh, you know the end game is for this this kind of like if this is a deep fake and someone's out there trying to push the idea that nuclear radiation isn't real or nuclear weapons aren't real or nuclear power is something different than it's been told than it's been taught to us. Um, so I. Whoa. So then the other day, I see this. You know, my, my best buddy, Elon Musk, for those who mistakenly think this is a radiation risk, 
pick what you think is the worst location. I will travel there and eat locally grown feeding. So he's he's been <clears throat> coming out and telling the people that we need more nuclear power plants. And this is his basically weak argument for radiation not being a risk or radiation uh, not being a big enough risk to warrant not making new nuclear plants. But he says this at the end. I did this in Japan many years ago, which is bullshit. He didn't fly to Japan just to eat local grown TV food on TV. It's the dude's just an absolute liar. Anyway, sh shortly after Fukushima, radiation risk is much, much lower than most people believe. So, so after thinking that this Galen Windsor video now in um, could be a deep fake, could be just a real clean deep fake video, um, you know, co having the biggest vaporware salesman, scam artist, snake oil salesman of our time, to have him all of a sudden be pushing this same idea that Galen Windsor in this video um, is trying to push. I don't know where this person got this video, but they're definitely trying to push this idea that um, that this, this the whole there's no nuclear radiation, no such thing. Um, so obviously something fishy is going on. I'm trying to figure out what it might be. Maybe it's. Basically, you know, getting by the Van Allen belts is, is a real problem and dealing with the radiation of space. If we're going to be going to Mars like Elon Musk wants to do, then clearly they need some explanation for how they're going to get humans past all this radiation. So what it seems like is happening is they're going to revise science and be all, oh, nuclear radiation was actually just something else, or, or the ra da da dangerous radiation came from this one thing, and you know maybe they figured out that that's not where it is anymore, that the science is changing, and scientists are all deciding that the Van Allen belts don't exist, or some radiation uh, BS, or they're tr trying, you know, this is big nuke money, um, big nuke propaganda, basically, trying to get more nuclear power plants put in the U.S. or around the world or something. Who knows? Because clearly, you know, it would be in Elon Musk's favor if there were more, there was more electricity because his, uh, you know, we have California. Uh, the governor of California is telling people not to use their Teslas because we don't have enough electricity and Elon Musk is selling all these cars to all these people in all these countries um, that have electro electricity shortages. So it's a little funny, little kind of seems, seems a little goofy. seems like there's something amiss um, with this Galen Windsor guy. Um, yeah, he's just a little too clean. Just a little too clean, just like Ed Snowden. This footage is a little bit too, yeah, in, in his, in his uh, lectures, he uh, ingests plutonium or something. <coughs> so, and, and his whole thing is that he's never died from eating, you know, this radioactive material in all the years. He says he used to swim in the nuclear uh, cooling tanks and all kinds of stuff. But there's basically no other information about him out there except this video, 
We don't know where this, this lecture took place. We don't know when it did. It looks like 70s or 80s, maybe 80s, Cold War, something like that. But it's just all a little too goofy looking. Um, but anyway, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Um, I really don't understand how this guy could be as famous, not as famous, but as uh, important of a person in our uh, history for there not to be tons of information about him on the internet that precedes this video that was put out uh, like six, seven years ago. Anyway... I uh, will talk to you guys later. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment on my videos. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.